Hey guys, how you doing? This is the Elite One, Elite One, aka God's Child, God's Child. Okay, real quick, I want to do a more serious video about how do I feel about Kevin Samuels and the alleged comment he made about domestic violence on black women. Okay, domestic violence on black women. Okay, so first of all, thanks, thank you for the all coming in. Thank you for joining me in my home, in my apartment in Chicago, Illinois. I welcome you, everyone out there. Peace and blessing. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for stopping by. So understand something. Kevin Samuels is a black man. His guests, his viewers, is men and women who also are black. So let's stick that together. He's a black man. These are black people. Now, Kevin Samuels, in my opinion, he started off good. He was smooth. He was kind with his words, and he told women the truth, but in more of a smooth, subtle way, okay? It's called tact. He was more tact. He was very tact with his words. But as, as his viewers, in my opinion, his popularity in radio shows and, and all this other stuff and the popularity came, he seems to be a little, little arrogant, in my opinion. This is my opinion. He seemed to be arrogant with his words and poor choices for words that we say to women in spite of black women who out of their own mouths said they wouldn't date a man making 30,000 a year. They wouldn't date a man that making uh, uh, 40,000 a year. They want six figures. They want a high value man. They want high. So that's their right. That's what they want. That's what they're looking for. They may never find it, but that's the right what they're looking for. So what Kevin Samuels was only point out that it's not going to happen. Why? Because you had a certain age. If you was 25 years younger, if you was this, if you was that, and if you know, if you were smaller and, and, and younger and prettier and things like that nature. What see what women don't understand is that men are visual creatures. Yes, we are. We are very visual creatures creatures we visual and we don't care if a woman work on fries we don't care a woman work at a car shop we don't care a woman working at walmart if that woman is nice she's pretty and she built a man can make six figures would want to be with that woman you know and so what kevin samuel was says that high value men wouldn't date a woman of low, which I kind of believe because in a way, when you're making money and you used to, uh, you live in a condo, you're paying $3,000 a month and you li you live in an area of nothing but money, 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 money. And then when you go in a neighborhood that's less, nah, I'm sorry, yeah, that's, that's not as upscale as where you live at, the women there, they look at a different because of the environment. But that's on each individual. See, Kevin Samuels didn't point that out. That's to each individual because there are some guys that's down to earth. They are down to earth. I'm the type of guy just like this. I don't live in an upscale neighborhood, but I have went to birthday parties in, in Inglewood areas where where where, where drive-by shootings was, was like the norm. I don't know why this... Fly trying to, like it's a norm. And I sit out there in the backyard, sit out there on the porch because it was my friend's birthday party. Now, am I going to not go over there because, you know, it's a bad area? I can get shot? No, I took that chance because that's my friend. I, I show love. That's just who I am. So, Sam, Kevin Samuels don't understand that it's to each his own. And uh, there's accusations about him. And I'm going to get to the promote. Uh, domestic violence on black women. I'm going to get to that. There are accusations of Kevin Samuels who allegedly was married to a woman who made more money than he did. Okay, so let's let's go there. Now, let's, let's put the puzzle together. Kevin is black. His views is black. His audience is black. But he's bashing black. So let's stick to that. So now you got this woman who making way more than you. But then you are promoting high value men. It's kind of hypocritical. If it's true, allegedly, if it's true, if it's true. So you have to understand, ladies out there, fat shaming is unacceptable. Because as I said, women out there, 
they go through a lot of stress, they go through a lot of trauma, and they have anxieties, and they have other illness that we probably don't know nothing about. And when you address a person about their physical appearance in a harsh, negative way, that's tearing them down. He's black, the women black. You are tearing them down. You are tearing them down. When you tell a woman, oh, you 5'7", and you weigh 190, oh, you you one walk away from a heart attack. No, you, you see, that's tearing them down. We are to uplift each other with nothing but love. If we have nothing good to say, don't say it at all. And so, to say that, to say this, if he did say, black man, go, go home and beat your black girlfriend, that's promoting black on black violence. That's promoting self hatred. That you know, that's just hatred. That's 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 hatred. Now, if he said that, that's promote hatred and violence against your own sisters. And that's why the black women, African American women, they are so outrageous because he said that. Because nobody want to go home and get beat up. I don't want to get beat up. Verbal abuse. Verbal abuse is just as bad as physical abuse. I'm going to say it again. Verbal abuse is just as bad as uh, physical abuse. So, you know, it's, it's, it's not accepted. It's not accepted. So he had the opportunity to make a change and make a difference. But instead, he almost declared war against the black man and the black woman. OK, when only thing he was trying to tell these black women, some of them, some of them, your goals and your expectations is unrealistic. There and I'm going to speak to the women on this. Ladies out there, you turn down many, many men who will love you to death. You overlook them. You, over, you cheated on them, you overshadowed them, you belittled them, and they had your best interest. No, they're not six figures. No, they don't live in a big house. No, they don't have a fancy car. But why should a man go through all these things to prove himself to you? To you? But he's not getting in the same return. See, ladies, what you have to understand, it's best for you to be realistic. You have to be realistic. I don't care how fine you are. I don't care how shapely you are. I don't care how many viewers you have. You could have a million viewers and not one man respect or care about you. But that one guy who was in your corner when nobody else, even in your family, you turned him down. You shot him down. You hurt him. You embarrassed him. You didn't want that guy. So Kevin Samuels didn't use tact with his words. He needed to be more tact. You know, he uh, one lady said that he's a misogynistic. OK, he started to sound like a misogynist. He sounded like he's prejudiced against women, like he's bitter towards women. He's angry towards women. And he, Kevin Samuels, Literally pick fight with women. I watched videos with women who was cooperative. He said some slick to them, and when they clap back, he wanna he wanna shut them off. You know, it's called respect. See, sometimes guys, power gets in your head, goes to your head. You have to stay humble. You have to stay humble because just like you got your podcast, just like you got your channel, you can lose it. You can lose it. Yes, you can. You can lose it. So be mindful what comes out your mouth. Have empathy for your audience. Hear them out. Don't be so quick to bash and judge a person on their past when they was young. Because a lot of women who make mistakes in their younger days is not that same woman. And even though the children are here, you can't take them back. You can't push them back. They're not going to fit. LOL. So you can't, you know, um, as black men and black women, 
we shouldn't tear each other down because he's not hard. Oh, he got to have tattoos or he got to have braids. And then there was a beard trend. And then he got to have this, he got to have that. Or, or the black woman, oh, she got to be thick. She got to have a fat butt. She got to have this, she got to have a pretty. You know what? Here's the thing. Stop that. Stop that. Because everybody don't have that. And the person who don't have that, maybe is best for you. For you. You got to stop being shallow. You got to stop being so condescending. You have a degree, so what? So what? Who's paying on that degree? Student loan. So what? So what? You got a good job, so what? So what? You got a condo, big house, so what? But you by yourself, but you alone. So what? That's nothing to look at. That's nothing. And it, it, treat people how you want to be treated. I'm talking about Kevin Samuels, I'm talking about the women, and I'm talking about men. Treat people how you want to be treated. Respect everybody's wishes and decisions. You have to respect that. So now, the accusations of he promoting uh, domestic violence, he promoting that, whatever, well, if he don't make it right, if he don't uh, recant, or maybe it was taken out of context. I don't know. I don't know. But if he don't, then yes, I will say, if he said that out of his mouth, yes, against black women, yes, I would say ban the brother. I would say ban him. If he said it and he, I don't care, whatever, yeah. Yeah, it's good to ban a guy like that because you don't need, you don't need, we don't need our young black men listen to a guy in a suit who promotes beating up on women, abusing women. No, no. There's a way to get your message across without tearing people down. Even though some women male bash men, they uh, hurt men, they did stuff too. So let's not let's stop acting like women so innocent because they are black women. I got a homeboy who who has a child and raised that child for 18 years. And found out 18 years later, he wasn't a dad. No one talking about that. So let's stop acting. Let's just, let's, let's stop all this black on black crime and hate towards each other. Because they don't want you together no way. They don't want you together no way. They don't want you together no way. I'm the enlightened one. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful night. Stay tuned. Shout out to everyone out there worldwide. Canada, New York, New Jersey, everyone, United States of America, every seven continent of the world. Do me a favor. If you like this video, hit the like button. Hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe today. I'm the enlightened one, aka God's child. Thanks for watching. I salute everyone out there. Peace and blessings. Good night.